Hello YouTube, welcome to episode 12 of Storyteller Plays Bloodborne. As I said in the last episode, this is the episode in which we kill a god or two. Maybe even three. Let's find out. Did you just try to bite me? Really? You little ankle biters are trying to take me on? Oh, one bit me. This is my death sentence. As I said in the last episode, these little buggers frenzy you. And I don't exactly have frenzy resistance. None of them even had the decency to drop a, uh, great, or old one's wisdom. Great one's wisdom? Whichever one it is, they drop. Now this little guy wants to take me on. Take on me. Take on me. Take me on. I'll be gone in a day or two. <laughs> I can't sing and very much shouldn't. I'll sweet some choir clothes. Don't much get along with the choir personally. They are the cooler subset of the church. Let me scoot forward. I'm committing far fewer atrocities, but uh, they committed their fair share of atrocities. Madman's knowledge, that's what the uh, maggots drop. Whoa. That's werewolf jumping out at me, not even dropping anything good. SMH, SMH indeed. Okay, there's a shortcut I'm going to uh, run for. Because I'm all about that survival. I wonder if that could have killed me. Surely somebody in the history of ever has died to that. Oh, I can't even open this door. Ouch. I died for nothing. I thought I had the key to that. Why does your clearly arcane scythe deal fire damage? Group hog. Just bullets. You know, I've got a tool for this. Boom. Let there be light. Well, that werewolf ain't hurting anybody where he's at. Uh, beware of beast. Therefore, remember fire. Ow. Ow. Haha, let's cheese it. That guy shouldn't be able to get too close. Let's just tickle them from the doorway. There we go, they're absolutely tickled pink. Aha, aha, aha. They ruined that pretty chandelier. Whoa, there. Tickle, tickle. Good, I didn't want to deal with him anyway. Brain suckers scare the living shit out of me. They could care less as long as somebody bleeds. So darken your clothes and strike a violent pose, and maybe they'll leave you alone, but not me. Is there anything behind this stairwell? No. Consider this an episode of exploration. As soon as I'm done getting lost here, I get to go be lost somewhere else. Clearly, there's a brain sucker trying to get to me. But where? Probably one of the ones up there, now that I think about it. Oh, well, let's go pay it a visit. Haha, I tickle faster. Although you're trying to tickle me with your teeth. Let me know if it's weird when I say tickle. Or how I say tickle. I see a scurrying beast. 
And now it's dead. And tickle, tickle. Okay. Nothing else in here poses a threat, except the several brain suckers up this ladder. I'm recording, right? Yes. Huh. Uh, fear abhorrent beast, therefore ambush is effective. Sounds to me like there's going to be more than one of these fuckers. Let's get its attention. Oh, look at me. I've got some tasty, tasty insight. Don't grab me, you little shit. Yes, I would like to, I would like to loot the body. Does the body not have anything to loot? Apparently. Now, I don't know for sure that another one's not going to pop up out of nowhere. Ooh, a blindfold cap. That's the rest of the choir get up. Let's open this shortcut just in case I somehow die again. I'm stupid, anything's possible. More pearl slugs. I'm always clearing my throat. I don't know why I get so phlegmy when I talk. I mean, it makes sense that I get phlegmy when I talk, but what does not make sense is that it only happens when I'm recording. I don't like brain suckers. Ooh, a key to the orphanage. I already killed an orphan couple episodes ago. Two at this point. What's the harm in killing a couple more orphans? I got the make contact. I should also stop talking about killing orphans. Hello? Whoa, never mind. <laughs> I was just trying to read the note, so me closing the door was an accident, but it was funny. There we go, another shortcut. Don't shut door. View note. Uh, time for use of terrain. And a wondrous key. Uh, how do I safely get down from here? I guess go through here. Now I can open this door. Opened the door with the orphanage key. I don't know why it wouldn't lock from the outside and be openable from the inside, but whatever. I guess older doors were just kind of like that. They had a keyhole, and it doesn't matter what side you're on. If you want to lock or unlock that door, you need that key. Oh, somebody put this one out. Although I'm not entirely sure what these ones are burning. Could you imagine being an orphan and there's just all these ominous looking uh, old one statues everywhere? Rest in peace. I wish I didn't have to kill these guys. We're practically brothers. You know, happy shiny people holding hands and all that. Whoa. Oh, that's a lot of lumen flowers. If this place looks familiar, that's because this is kind of where I acquired the black sky eye. Nope, here comes the celestial emissary. But which one of you is the big man in charge? As soon as I find it, I'm just gonna have to blast it with arcane. Nope. You're behaving strangely. Are you the big man in charge? Oh, it's that one. Now these guys are lesser great ones at best. Probably something else entirely. But they're also now dead. That was an accidental emote. Let's pretend that that guy was a god, though, so that I can say I killed three this episode. Light it up. Is there anything fun over here, real quick, before I advance? 
There was not. Let's break a window. Hello. Oh, it's a cute little boy bee celestial maggot. I'm sorry to have to kill you, but, you know, I want to not die. And here we are in the Grand Cathedral. Makes sense it would be over here. This is the Upper Grand Cathedral, after all. There's a call beyond. I knew I would get that eventually. I just forgot where. Whoa there, buddy. Let's not get all handsy. It's funny, because I, uh... I use my tentacles as weapons. I could just as easily not, though. But I don't know who wouldn't want to use tentacles as a weapon, because I can vomit. Or I can throw slugs. I mean, I can throw slugs with the Agar of Epriatus as well. Do I summon Damien of Mensis? I don't see why not. That was a waste of blood bullets. Let's summon Damien. He was mostly useless in the Rom fight, but... The Mensis scholars were crazy, horrible people, so I want them on my side. Nice cage. Let's go. Welcome to the Altar of Despair. This is God number two that we're killing this episode. Because if you're not killing gods, what are you doing with your life? Are you okay, Abby? You look a little sad. Do you want to talk about it? La 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 la. Let's get rid of this and make contact. It's okay, Abby. I'm here for you. It takes so long for them to actually change what side they're doing. I knew Abby wouldn't react, but I do want to know what Damien over there thinks I'm doing. Okay, Abby. Well, you don't want to talk, so I'm going to vomit on you. Well, that got her attention. It also dealt no damage. Ow. Abby. Let me heal real quick. You know, Damien, if we uh, divide her attention, this will go a little bit more smoothly. None of those hit. Anyway, be careful, Damien. The blood she's throwing up causes frenzy. I'm going to assume you're not too frenzy-resistant yourself. Now you use a call beyond, really? She's already dead, my dude. What is he doing? I think he was challenging me to a dance-off. Not important, though. Let's advance. Here we are. Let's open this door to the outside. Welcome to the Nightmare Frontier. Let's light this lamp. And be on our merry way. Ah, oh, the stars are shining. The sun is somehow also out. Oh no, the bell ringing woman rings a sinister bell. What are the odds of me getting invaded though? Like, who in their right mind is out here at this level? Oh, would you look at that? I'm being invaded. Listen, I just want to kill a god. Mm, 
Okay, where is this invader? Nope, oh, I found them. Ow. They attacked me as I was bowing. Jerk. Well, I was technically doing a curtsy. Tickle, tickle. Why am I so compelled to do that? Obviously, that's how I attack, but why am I so compelled to say tickle, tickle? I should get a parrot, except I can't take care of myself, which would be rude. Why did you have my blood echoes? It would be rude to the parrot. Ooh, what's down there? I think that might actually be where I get the ability to turn into messengers like my invader had. Ooh, what's this? Madman's knowledge. This is an NPC invader. Ow. They're also not messing around. Can we stop shooting me, please? I'm being ganged up upon. How are you still alive? Oops. I thought that finished them both off. Let's not die here, Satu. Huh, you got stuck on the other side of rocks. Drop anything for me? Lead elixir. Kinda useless. Another lead elixir. I said the first one was useless. Can you guys drop something for me? Okay, there's a shortcut around here somewhere. Here it is. This isn't the shortcut. I think this is just where the bell ringing woman is. Oi! Fuck off! Did she drop anything for me? No. Oh yeah, the bell ringing woman has left, has she? Is that what happened? Hey, these guys kind of look like Koss. Or some say Cosm. Ow. Can you, uh, lay off me real quick? They see me rolling. They hate him. Frenzy cold blood, totally worth potentially getting cornered for. It's not like I can farm blood echoes off camera. I was about to say, it's like I'm weirdly not taking any actual damage from my poison. Don't drop that on me. He was about to slap me. Did you see that? I'm taking your corpse with me and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Okay. I'll have to actually defeat a uh, player in PvP on camera. I did it in the last series. Ooh, that could have been fatal. Frenzy is no joke. The Winter Lanterns do drop some pretty decent blood gems, though. Hey, you don't jump to your death. Ooh, bloodstone chunks. What is here? Frenzied cold blood. Not bad, not bad. I thought there was a second Winter Lantern. Winter Lantern. Maybe I'm thinking of somewhere else. That's happened a couple times where I've confused locations. Oi! Scurrying beast! Headbutt. Nothing useful. Oh, I definitely hear another Winter Lantern. But where? Winter Lantern. 
come out and play. Eh? Hmm, where is she? Let elixir. That's useless. Hence the note. Well, if I can find the Winter Lantern, I can kill her easily. Ow. Ooh, what's this? Bold Hunter's Mark? Kind of useless. I can buy those. They're cheap as hell. I would not want to run into a Winter Lantern while poisoned, though. Because Frenzy is fatal enough without it. Uh, the shortcut I was talking about earlier is up this way. So I might as well go open that. Don't risk dying like an idiot to something that otherwise would not be able to kill me. I don't mean Winter Lanterns. They can kill me easily if I'm not careful. What's up here? I believe that shortcut. Yep. This is the shortcut I was talking about before. But I don't need it for now. Let's go fight ourselves an old god. Real quick, what do you have for me? A weak bolt gem? Not terrible. If I really wanted elemental gems, I can farm them in the chalice dungeons. What do you have? Ooh, madman's knowledge. Useful, useful. What is through here? Oh. An innocuous looking tower. Am I using innocuous correctly? Who knows? I don't have time to Google it. I'm about to be ambushed by an old god. Really? I hit you once and your response is to rip your arms off? And pray slaughtered. And I got the Ailing Loris Chalice. <laughs> Ailing Loris. Ailing Lauren Chalice. Loran. However you want to pronounce it. How long have I been recording? Mm, 26 minutes. A lot of that not usable. Fine, I suppose I'll advance the game a tiny bit. But I did kill three gods, assuming we count the Celestial Emissary. Like that, I now have Max... Hand lanterns. How cool is that, y'all? Really stupid, also. There's no reason I should be doing that. I repaired up my parasite, and let's uh, advance the game. We won't talk about this. Oh, so you're just going to put me back down, huh? I genuinely do not know where the bell-ringing woman in this area is. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm a very busy envy. Tickle, tickle. Oh, hey, there's a lantern right here. Only reason I didn't activate it last episode is I died, though, so... It is what it is. Ow, dogs. I'm not distracted. You're distracted. What's this? Oh, blood vials. It's not like I don't have a ton of those. And right through this door... ...is that lantern we can no longer use. Some jerk smashed it to bits. Can we, uh, lay off me real quick? Ooh, somebody left a note on the floor. Nightmarish rituals carve a new- er, Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn. Find one, and silence its harrowing cry. They killed a baby. Those jerks. Do you know how bad it looks to kill a baby? They're defenseless. What have they done to you? 
presumably nothing. If you guys are going to come fight me, can you do it one at a time? Missed. This will hit him. Ow. Why do you have a cannon if you're not going to use it? Ouch, jerk. And tongue lash. Y'all are quite a bit weaker now that I've killed the bell ringing woman. Dude with a gun is no less annoying, though. Oh, more dogs. Presumably ones not summoned by the bell ringing woman, otherwise they wouldn't still be here. Good night. Okay, so I killed the beast guy. Ow! Why are you just waiting on the stairs? That was on me. Well, I took damage, but not gonna lie, that was efficient. It did the job. Whoa there, buddy. I was just trying to kill the gunman. I have no beef with you. Ow. Rest in peace. Bullets. Yummy, yummy bullets. Okay, now let's take out these guys again. For like the seventh, seventh, seventieth time. Uh, where'd he go? Ow. Little shit. I'm doing something. What do you got for me? Blood vials? Ah, keeping your distance. Smart. Ow, you little shit. Let me heal. That means you, cannon guy. Let me pop some blood. I've only got $20 in my pocket. If you want me to die so bad, why don't you use your cannon? Clearly, you just didn't want to kill me that bad. What do you got? Bullets? A lot of them, but not anything I don't already have. But what do you have on you? Madman's knowledge. That might have actually been there this whole time. Who knows? And what did you drop? Claw marks. Nice. Okay, let's go. How long have I been recording? 40 minutes? Not all of that is even actually usable. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go fight the one reborn. I mean, let's go fight a boss. And then we'll call it an episode. There's a shortcut around here I'm not going to bother opening. Ow. Don't grab me, bro. I'm not a big fan of uh, public displays of affection. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm very busy. I have much to be doing. They are still shooting at me, those pricks. That's a big old moon. Here's some more of those bell-ringing women. They've got nothing better to do. They could be forming one of those choir of bell things, but no. They gotta be blocking out the moon and inconveniencing me specifically.
Congratulations, it's a beautiful baby boy. Oh, well, there's, there's quite a lot of them. That right there is an amorphous mass of guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Nobody can ever say From Software isn't progressive. Okay, can we uh, carry this on? Because I've got to go... I need to finish this episode so that I can start editing stuff. One moment, one reborn. Uh, I'm a little bit busy. I have things to be doing. Let me heal up. Blood tap. Heal up again. Hello. Tickle, tickle. Wow, I didn't know you could reach me up here. Makes sense. Tickle, tickle. Can I ask what just hit me? Was it the one reborn again? I'll be with you in a second, buddy. Ooh, what's this? This one reborn guy is very needy. Can I ask what you guys are doing up here? I'm not even down there and you are still just shooting your projectiles. You're firing your lasers. One reborn. Stop being so needy. I'm coming down there now. Well, I'm glad I wasn't outside for that. Oh, are you going to show me your magic trick again? Oh, you make it rain slugs. I can kind of do that. Mine are all blue, though. Ow. Phantasms, even. Oh, he's got like an E.T. finger. Do you see that? It lights up when he casts his uh, slug magic. Ow. Jerk. Give me a second. Not dealing a lot of damage to him. Hey, could you hold still so my magic can hit you, you prick? Oh well, looks like I'm gonna have to get up close and personal and just start slapping him with my tentacles. Ow. This boss is highly resistant to my damage type. Ouch. Gross. Okay. I actually need to eat some food and consume some caffeine, so I'm gonna end this here. Actually, I'll just record, stop this recording session, and then I'll pick up part two, defeat the one reborn, and then call that an episode. I hope Buffy doesn't mind that I deal no damage. Excuse me. I am very busy. I have stuff to do. I was going to give up on waiting for another player, and then just summon a defector and tall. You know, the one who has a very funny name, because if you remove the T, you get it. Okay, so Buffy's up there, doing the other side. That's good. Let's go kill ourselves. A one reborn. The one reborn, even. Of the great reborn dynasty. How dare you be resistant to my damage? Are you trying to drop slugs on me again? 
I thought we've established before that that's not how you kill me. Whatever, I'll just attack your butt. Surely this guy has a weakness somewhere. I have a weakness. It's called not being able to aim. Okay. Let's just keep throwing these. This fight's going much better. Probably because I have somebody to share aggro with. We did it! Oh no, I don't have my uh, music box equipped. I was going to do that. R.I.P. me. Light this lamp. I probably should have just gone with the accursed brew method the first time I fought the one reborn. Probably would have done a bunch more damage. Doesn't matter. Let's touch this mummy, because we learned from the astral clock tower that touching corpses is good. And here we are in the lecture building, different level. As you can see, if I open this door... We're now on the second floor. In the next episode, we shall walk the dinosaur. <coughs> oh, I had to sneeze because that was so dumb. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and farewell. I'll see you in episode lucky number 13.